Hello cookbook friend. Today we're going to be talking about the cook you want to be. This is by Andy Baragani. I'm really excited. I know there was like a Today Show episode with him featured. It was a huge controversy a couple days ago, but I'm really excited to check out the cookbook. He seems really awesome. So let's look at the table of contents here. This cookbook has, it, it's a mix. Like we have a lot of fo photos in some areas, but then we've got big gaps where there are no photos whatsoever. So if you're a very photo heavy person, this may or may not be suitable for you, but it does have a lot of cool recipes. So here, let me check out the table of contents. As you can see, the photos are beautiful, the ones that are there. We have mighty little recipes, start or end your day with an egg, snacks to share or not, uh, salad for days, mind your veg, grains, pastas, cheap happiness, agreed. Uh, soup obsessed, fish I love you, meaty things, and sweet spot. I'll definitely check out the uh, sweet spot recipe <laughs> at the very end here. So here we have a list of tools that he enjoys using. Throughout the cookbook, you'll see different tips as well, which is very nice. Uh, he, like for instance, a hint of acid to lift and elevate your dish is really awesome. So let's look at some of the recipes we have. Nuts to drink with, oh my goodness, okay. We also have here broken feta with sizzled mint and walnuts. These are snacks that you may want to share or not. Here is the salad for days, which is a little light on the photos, which is crazy because salads can have beautiful photography. This is a fat pieces of citrus with avocado and caramelized dates. So here's something you'll notice. We have the list of recipes or dish ingredients here. We also have how much it actually serves. This serves four. It's hard to see on my screen. We also have at the very top where this recipe comes from. So if it comes from a specific culture or country or part of history or how Andy got this recipe and how he modified it, different ways to pair things or flavor profiles so make sure to read the top and we also have a list of directions right here on the very very bottom we have here uh, additional tips so for instance you got lucky and found other types of citrus if you're using smaller citrus such as tangerines clementines uh, use your hands to peel them and don't even bother using a knife to remove their pith and that's pretty awesome. So you don't, it's a little bit of a mix of things. So you don't have to be strict with the recipe. Let's move on. Here we have black pepper and ginger asparagus stir fry. That looks really great. Grilled asparagus is awesome. Roasted carrots with a hot green tahini. Charred Brussels sprouts with creamy Nuoc cream. I love Brussels sprouts. I will probably be trying this out. These recipes are a mix of complex and easy. So it kind of de depends on where you're at each day. So for instance, the spicy cauliflower ragu with lemony breadcrumbs, it doesn't have that many ingredients. It's pretty simple and easy to make. You can make it on a weekday. If I, I'll, I'll make sure to, if I find something, this one might be a little more elaborate. So cold soba with lemony peanut and crunchy veg. I like the variety and we get a variety of different flavor profiles, different recipes from different countries as well. So we're not stuck in one area. This is basically a great cookbook to have on hand for really any time, any, all occasions. So here we have scallops with grapefruit brown butter. We also have very unique recipes as well. Things that I haven't seen. Sometimes when you go through a lot of these cookbooks, you notice there's a lot of repeating recipes like a Caesar salad. This one has a lot of unique recipes I haven't necessarily seen before and they're simple. Here we have meaty things. Let's go and look at some of these dishes. Sticky sweet roast chicken. That's a recipe you would probably find in a lot of cookbooks, but here we have a tangy pomegranate chicken. That sounds really tasty crushed orange and rosemary braised lamb with crunchy pistachio yogurt oh, that sounds awesome let's look at some of these desserts that he's provided we have a fal falude i cannot pronounce that word falude with cherries on top apparently it's one of the most famous persian desserts that sounds amazing uh it's shredded it's a shredded pile of fluffy ice studded with crunchy rice noodles. 
That's cool. I love that. So that's something I've never seen. We have an apple and tahini galette. Galette's in a lot of recipe books. Orange blossom and panna cotta with honeyed strawberries. Classic, tasty, and a very easy. Crispy plum and pistachio cake. Ooh, that sounds great. So overall, this is a very approachable cookbook. It's really awesome for all year round, for really any day of the week. A lot of the recipes are very simple. It really sticks to those original flavors and doesn't go crazy out of this world, but also brings in some unique flavor profiles as well and different recipes from different places around the world so this is the cook you want to be this is by andy bergani really awesome cookbook definitely check it out if you want more cookbooks make sure to look at our instagram facebook pinterest and our amazon live channel at amazon.com slash live slash cookbook divas we do a lot of stuff over there and make sure if there is a cookbook you do want us to look through over here on YouTube, make sure to comment down below, subscribe, uh, like, all of those things, and then you'll be able to get all the cookbooks that you could ever imagine. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you soon.